bottleneck for years. The U.S. Highway 190 bridge over the Bogafia River handles tens of thousands of vehicles each day. Rush hour traffic there can back up for miles. But a plan is on the books to alleviate that bottleneck. And North Shore reporter Heath Allen tells us it can't happen fast enough. The two lane U.S. 190 bridge over the Bogafia River frustrated drivers long before the extensive highway improvements on either side of the river ever began. With a booming population and more and more lanes funneling down to just two, something's got to give. Currently, you must do this and this and this and this. There is definitely a plan on the books to alleviate all this, but the actual construction probably won't start for at least a couple of years. Overall, it's about a $100 million state project that would include a second Bogafalaya span ultimately a four-lane bridge. One bridge, which would include actually three lanes to accommodate the on-ramp plus two lanes of traffic, at which time, once that is done, the ultimate plan would be to tear down the existing overpass and build another two lanes. A phase one funding plan is in place to build the new overpass. Demolition of the existing bridge, likely part of the final phase, would be years down the road. So what's the plan to keep all that traffic, all that heavy traffic moving on US 190 heading north out of Covington? Well, how about a series of roundabouts? It's a series of roundabouts that, that have proven to move traffic uh, more efficiently well, in and around the city. The, the ambitious plans have been on the books for years. The challenge is always funding. The combined efforts of the Department of Transportation, St. Tammany Parish Government, the Regional Planning Commission, and the City of Covington now moving things a bit closer to reality. The whole idea is to, to, from this point to that point to move traffic without having to stop once. The challenge now is getting started on a project that could take well into the next decade to complete. On your side on the North Shore, Heath Allen, WDSU News. And right now, work centers on the initial environmental assessment with an opportunity for more public comment by the end of this year. Actual construction on the state project is not expected to start until sometime during this 2017-2018 fiscal year.